All right, so uh, some of the problems that give me the most grief are ones that look like this. They say, I've got this uh, reaction. I want to know what the enthalpy for this reaction is. And I'm not going to give you anything except for a bunch of other equations that have things in it that you want, not quite in the form you want. So uh, why don't you try and figure it out? Have a nice day, right? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to treat this like linear algebra. At least that's the way I like to think of it. And maybe that doesn't help you feel any better, but actually it helps me feel a lot better. Just a system of equations that have some common variables. But it's hard to see that when you look at things like this, where they have so much to write, even though you could look at it in simpler terms as a coefficient and a variable. And so that's what I'm going to do. I got this uh, problem just here on a uh, search on the web and uh, well, okay, here we go. Uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to start assigning those variable names to each, uh, to each one of these as they arrive. And I, I'm just going to write them underneath. So I've got two, and I'm going to say A for this carbon right here, plus I'm just going to assign variable letters in the order they arrive, okay, plus uh, 1B, right, yields C at a delta of who knows what. Okay. But we know it'll be in kilojoules. Okay. Next layer, let's see. Well, we had C here already. I'm going to use this because this is the same C2H6. Okay. The next part I'm going to do is uh, oxygen. And I don't have an oxygen anywhere else. So I'm going to say five halves. O2. It's okay that I wrote over it because uh, I say it's okay. <laughs> All right. As you can tell, I've been talking to my kids or something. I don't know. Okay. So I've got uh, CO2. That doesn't show up anywhere yet. Oh, you see what I just did there? That didn't help at all. This should have been a D. Okay. And that's why, because I said so, is not good. All right. E. 2E. Right? Yep because we don't have CO2 anywhere else. Plus, H2O is uh, not anywhere else either that I can see. Is it? No, H2O. No. Okay, so that'll be plus F. And that'll be uh, at this heat right here. In kilojoules, right? Okay. And now I've got carbon. I only have one here, so that's, uh, that's A plus, and then O2 we said was D. And that yields CO2, just a single one though, so that's going to be the letter E right here and its heat of formation. Did I say that right? I don't know. I'll get this enthalpy right here is going to be equal to, I just overwrote it, that was brilliant, okay, hang on a sec here, 393.5, 393.5 kilojoules, now I can write over it, okay, and lastly, we're at H2, now H2 we said was B, right, write it right here, plus Oxygen was D, one half of an oxygen, yields an H2O, which we said was F. That looks good. All right, so 285, learn from your mistakes, right? 0.8 kilojoules for that reaction. We'll write this in, and then we'll clean it all up. Wish I could take Photoshop to exams. It would make my life a lot easier. Maybe I should ask. Okay, so now with the problem out of our way, ah, that's a lot easier for me to read. I don't know about you, but that makes life a lot easier. So here we go. I'm going to look at this now in terms of solving the equations to get to this. This is my target right here. Uh, that's really ugly too. So there we go. Okay. So right here, this is the equation I'm trying to get to from these parts right here. Okay. So Let's do it. Uh, looking at the top here, I've got an A on the left side. That's good, uh, though it says I need two of them, right? I've got uh, B on the left side also, and there's one here. Oh, I left something out. I think that was the same as oxygen. Now let's get it back. Yeah, oxygen is, uh, is a D. One half D. That 
that's better. Okay. All right then. Um, looking at this, we've got uh, B. There's a B here. That'll work. So it's like maybe reorder these two. A C though. This ought to be on this side of the arrow, right? Yeah. That helps to see it a little bit better. No pun intended. Okay. So I'm going to start with this one first. Okay because I want to flip that whole thing over and then I'll get to the value I want. But if I do that, I have to change this negative sign to a positive, right? Uh, that's what happens when you flip them over. So I'm going to start with that 2e plus f yields, because we're just doing it backwards, right? Oh, this could be confusing. Okay, 2e plus f yields c uh, yeah, yeah, bad handwriting day. Okay, <laughs> yield C. Maybe I should type them. C plus 5 halves D. Okay, and that gives us this value right here. Artfully dodged. Okay, 1299.5. So far, so good, right? There's the first one down. All right, so that gets my C over here. These guys match. That's nice. Let's pick a new color. Let's go like uh, have a nice, happy summer green. Okay, <laughs> like PBS or something. All right, so uh, C is done. I'm just going to put a little check mark there. A, I need two of these. So I'm going to multiply two across here and uh, rewrite the equation. And let's do it. 2A plus 2 D yields to E. And that's going to be, it's going to look like this. 393.5 kilojoules. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll multiply those out, add them all together later. Is procrastination sometimes it's all right okay so I've got my A's uh, so so that's good uh, this is good I need a B and I'll just take that straight from here so I'll pull this down just to make it easier to work plus one half D yields F okay and that reaction, I guess I could have just copied it, but 85.8. It's testing my skill there while the computer catches up to my handwriting. All right, and with that in place, uh, I think we're ready to do some cancellation and maybe uh, just see what adds through. Okay, so let's pick a new color here so we can actually uh, see what I've done. What's a nice color? Say a color, it doesn't matter. Okay. So if I uh, just draw a line through this here, just uh, just like adding a series of equations or doing linear algebra, if you're familiar with that, uh, I can start uh, canceling things that, add, that end up on each side or, or opposite each other, like this 2e. Okay, uh, you know, actually before I do that though, let's do it on a new uh, layer so I can kind of uh, fade it in and out and you know go all special effects ninja on you. Okay, here goes. Now, I know you don't see any difference yet. So here's 2e, right? And 2e. All right, uh, let's see. There's an f here. There's an f here. Okay. And uh, let's see. I've got 2d plus 1 half d is 5 halves d. And I've got 5 halves d over here. So I can chop that out and chop those guys out. Yep. All right. Now I think we're done. So 2a plus B yields C, which is exactly what we were looking for to begin with. The only thing is we didn't know this value, but now we can know it. So now I'm going to say, finally, the answer is the sum of all these things I've combined and flipping things around. So let's do that together. Let's say, um, okay, I've got 12.99. 0.5. Uh, oops, sorry. 12.99.5. Let's time off my test right there. I hate it when I make mistakes like that. 2 
because usually I follow it through all the way to the answer. Three, nine, three, and then I talk while I'm punching numbers in and I really screw up. And, and uh, yeah, here we go, 787. And this last one here is, uh, hmm, yeah, 285. Point eight. Right? Okay, now let's make sure I got them all right. This one, that looks like two times that, and that looks like that. Okay, let's add it up. One, two, and the answer I get is beautiful because it's right. 226.7. Okay, so the, uh, the reaction we're seeing after I get rid of all that, okay, take off all these different layers of complexity. Oops, ha, didn't want to take them off that fast. Oh well. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, bring back my equation here. And let's just take a look at it. Ah, good grief, having a hard, uh, hard SFX day. What is that? Where did I put it? Okay, so I strip all this away. We'll do it oh my god! <laughs> ah, all right, there's a, there's a shortcut for this. It's called being organized, which apparently I'm not. Here, this will do it. I'm reasonably sure. Okay, our original problem was. Oh, God. All right. Welcome to the cursey part of the show. Hasn't gotten bad yet. I've done worse for sure. That's what I'm looking for right here. Okay, so our original problem which maybe I just made more hairy inadvertently, okay? This is our original problem. And I took all this complicated garbage, I put it into just a few manageable letters, added out, looked for cancellations, and once I finished that, I added up the sums and I arrive at this answer, and everybody's happy because they go home with an A. Have a nice evening.